Welcome back. So last Thursday, you probably got an alert on your phone about the uh, explosive situation near Western Avenue in West Knoxville. Now we're learning more exactly about what was in that box and why thousands of people were evacuated from the area. Joining us in studio is uh, the chief, Paul Noel, with Knoxville Police. Can you walk us through the timeline of what happened uh, on Thursday? Sure, absolutely. So Thursday afternoon, we received a phone call about um, a box, a box you see on the screen there that was suspicious. The um, recycling company had actually uh, attempted to open it by um, cutting it open with a torch, and then they, they discovered there was a large amount of dynamite and blasting caps inside. Then they, they called us. And we know that dynamite was in the box, but what went through your mind when you learned blasting caps were also in the box as well? Well, you know, it, it was tremendously scary for us. You know, um, if that dynamite would have gone off, um, with those blasting caps in it, it would have devastated that area. So we, obviously we were very concerned for the people who lived in that community. We're very concerned for our police officers. I'm very proud of the men and women of, of, of law enforcement who responded to help evacuate that area so quickly. And it was a long, meticulous process. Can you walk us through that? Absolutely. You know, so, you know, one of the first things we had to do was let the, there was a fire um, from the box. The box was smoldering. The company tr attempted to open the box using a blowtorch, which is not a good idea with dynamite, obviously. So when that box was smoldering, we had to wait for that to go out. Um, and then with the help of the Knox County Bomb Squad, um, our Bomb Squad at KPD in Nashville, we were able to um, eventually remove the dynamite by hand and incinerate it. And people were evacuated for hours. How important it, was it for people to understand the seriousness of the situation? Oh, I mean, it, it's very, very serious. So if that dynamite would have gone off, it would have devastated that area. And I know some of the people that evacuated were very upset. I went over to the Jacobs Building to speak to um, some of the evacuees. And once they understood the gravity of the situation, they were very, very appreciative of not only of our efforts to get them out safely, but they were saying prayers as well for our police officers from Knox County and Nashville and Knoxville to um, make sure that they were safe when they were moving a dynamite by hand. And you had KPD, you had KFD, the bomb squad. How do you prepare and train for something like this? You know, so our bomb teams, we have a highly professional bomb team here in Knoxville and the, the, the EOD disposal, dis disposal community here in East Tennessee. We work together um, to prepare for these events. But this is one of these things where hopefully this is a once in a lifetime type incident. Hopefully we're not dealing with, you know, 550 sticks of dynamite in the future. But, you know, I am very confident that the men and women of the Knoxville Police Department and our community partners, our, our law enforcement partners were able to effectively respond to anything that, 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 that just comes our way. When you got the all clear, it was safe. What went through your mind? Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, thank God. So, you know, Thursday night, you know, I was on the scene for a long time at the command post, um, you know, past midnight. And then I really, I could not sleep Thursday night because I was so worried about, you know, our, our bomb technicians and the ones coming in from Nashville. Um, just really worried about their safety. So when we got the all clear, it was a sigh of relief. Well, I appreciate you coming in and talking with us. Now